In this Daily Drop, we're going to talk about a proof of concept for my friend Doug Rappaport. So let's go. All right, kids, here we are. Another episode 132 of the Daily Drop. And in the background, give me a holler, Doug. What up? Is my good buddy, Doug Rappaport. Doug and I have known each other since I was 14. He was 15 years old. So we're talking one of my absolute oldest friends in this entire universe. And he is an amazing guitar player. He plays for the Edgar Winter Group and is the longest running member of that group ever. And he tours every year in Japan for Yazawa. Did I say that right, Doug? Yep. Yazawa, who's kind of one of the biggest artists, if not the biggest artist in that country, selling out arenas and all of that stuff, does session work. And in a lot of ways, Doug's life parallels mine. I'm doing stuff in this space, video production and filmmaking. He's doing similar things online for guitars, amps, pedals, all kinds of stuff, and just all around amazing guy, and I'll put a link to his stuff. So what we were doing today was looking at an upgrade for Mr. Raps because he is not really happy with the quality of what he's getting right now. So I had him come by my space, and what we did is a whole bunch of different setups. We took the FX30 with two lenses, the 18 to 50, from Sigma and the 23 millimeter prime, which opens up all the way to a 1.4 from Sigma as well. And basically proof of concept, the idea that if he upgraded to two cameras like this and those two lenses, one with the 18 to 50, one with the 23, that it could really up the quality of what he's producing. He has very good instincts in terms of framing and in terms of lighting, but it's really just bumping that quality and then being able to save so much time. I can't tell you after starting to shoot with the A7C2 uh, and also the FX30 how much easier it is for me to do this show the daily drop. And that's kind of where Doug wants to take the content that he's shooting. So what we did is we just set up a couple of quick lights here. Uh, we've got basically a small two foot tube from uh, Nanlite. And then we have their Pavo Slim, the one by two foot one with a soft box. And we're using that for these different setups. The first thing we did was take a look at what would it look like if he was shooting a product like a pedal. So I had a pedal and we just set that up and we started messing around with different looks and feels. And that was all shot with the 18 to 50 at a 2.8. And dialing that light down to literally 1% through the softbox. And that's what we did there. And then we moved on to a guitar. We set up the guitar so we could see the whole thing and have, you know, that in the frame. And then there was kind of side lit so we didn't get reflections into the guitar. And then a little bit of kick from that two foot tube. And then we wanted to play around with what would it look like if Doug was in the frame himself. And that on the little top rig S60 slider to do some more tests with that. So we could just get a little bit of movement. And I think that besides maybe going a little larger on the modifier for the key light is something I'd like to see that pretty happy with the direction that this is going in. And I think he has a pretty good idea if he goes into his space, if he had these two cameras and those two lenses, the 18 to 50 Sigma and the 23 millimeter F1.4, that he'd be able to accomplish a lot. So that's what I got for you kids. And there you go. Don't forget to. And to. And I'll see you on the next episode of The Daily Drop.